Good morning, everyone. It is uh, Easter Sunday, 2021. Coming at you from Studio B at F-150 Studios, beautiful Starbucks, California. Uh, Studio A will be getting some upgrades in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I will be mounting an Anytone, I'll just call it 578 because it's got the world's longest darn name. Uh, 570AT-578UV3, Roman numeral 3, III Pro, um, tri-band ham radio in uh, Studio A, and I will report on that. I've uh, seen some great reviews on uh, of the product on YouTube, but one thing no one has done is actually mount it in a vehicle. Uh, so I'll be uh, I'll be posting um, uh, some installation video and uh, reviews of that. Um, <clears throat> this is you know a unit I bought with my own money, not a promotional thing that was sent to me by Bridgecom um, to review. Um, <clears throat> but it, it does seem to be quite a good unit. Uh, so, um, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, Friday, I got the first uh, Pfizer jab for the uh, Chicom crud. And um, no adverse reactions. Um, really um, everything kind of felt fine my arm started to get a little bit sore in the evening now bear in mind I got the vaccine in the morning and um, by the time I went to bed it was sorry sore enough uncomfortable enough to interfere with sleep not really painful just annoying and I go back in three weeks for the uh, second uh, this was a vaccination clinic organized by my employer so I drove into the office on my day off and got it done and went home and went about the rest of my business. Um, I may have had the Chinese virus. Yeah, Biden and the NBA don't like their paymasters being called out like that. So I'm just going to keep doing it. And if uh, Susan Wiki Wiki over at HerTube doesn't like it, uh, well, we can talk about it. Anyway, um, I may have had it last April. Uh, I had about a two-week period. I'm asthmatic, and I had about a two-week period where I was hitting my inhaler every day. Uh, now, it was only once a day, but that's way more than I normally do unless I actually have some upper respiratory infection. I didn't have any other symptoms. I wasn't sneezing. I wasn't running a fever, no cough, no nothing, but just once a day, I would have to hit the albuterol. Um, my almost 90 year old mother with uh, lungs compromised from having smoked much of her life. Um, you know, she was tested positive earlier this year. Uh, she'd had influenza A uh, at the uh, end of last year, uh, at the end of 2019. Um, I guess I said this year, I mean, it's last year she tested positive uh, also around April. Uh, but she had no symptoms at all, um, just a positive test. So, and again, she's nearly 90 and COPD and everything. So, so we're doing okay. Um, of course, the goalposts keep moving. We keep hearing how, oh, you know, it was, remember, and I know this treads on YouTube's current, uh, policies with regard to discussing COVID, but I'll remind you that a year ago we were told 15 days. <laughs> okay, okay, we just need two weeks to flatten the curve. Here we are more than a year later, and the goalposts keep shifting. Uh, so now, well, you know, people are getting vaccinated, but everybody's not vaccinated, so we still have to keep wearing the masks and we still have to stay at home and we still can't have our children unless they're the children's of wealthy elites going to private schools like Gavin Newsom. Uh, we still have to have our children, you know, distance learning and, you know, we can't have any socialization or normal activities or anything that doesn't keep us isolated and firmly in the grip of big government and big tech for what we're allowed to see and hear and read and do. 
Um, you know, but, but it's just a little while longer. The CDC director came out the other day. Oh, just a little while longer. So the goalposts keep shifting and, uh, uh, there's a word for it. Um, what's that word again, uh, from my native language? Um, oh yeah, bullshit. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's, it's bullshit. Uh, we, we need to man up. Oops. Oops, I used a, a gender non-neutral toxic term there, didn't I? We need to man up and reclaim our freedom. Uh, free people don't ask for rights, they take them. Um, we don't have our rights by the government's permission. Those are privileges. Uh, never mistake the two. Uh, so, um, you know, we need to actually stand up and start demanding our freedom back. Otherwise we're going to move into something that looks like a cross between Brave New World and 1984, uh, which is where the progressives want us to go, but those of us who don't want to go there. Um, what else? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. The voter suppression law in Georgia that doesn't actually suppress voting and actually expands it in many regards. Um, I'm black. I've voted in every election since I was, 1976 was the first election I was eligible to vote in. Um, I've never had a problem. <laughs> I've just, I go, I get registered. Well, black people can't get IDs. How do they cash their welfare checks? <laughs> okay. Um, of course they can get IDs. Um, of, you know, black people can do anything but this soft bigotry of low expectations that's at play here again, which is just a tool of power, um, is just killing, it's killing blacks. It's tearing American society apart. Um, you know, um, it's, it's not good for anybody except, you know, the left who, the hard left who hope to gain power by reinforcing this. So, uh, so yeah, I, I, I have, uh, I've not had any problem voting. Uh, Delta Airlines, apparently they don't want my business anymore. Um, of course, you know, they, they shut down the, they shut down the, uh, NRA, um, group fair for the annual meeting several years ago. I'm an NRA life member. Uh, they've been banning people based on their political opinions, conservative, libertarian political opinions. And now, of course, you know, they're boycotting Georgia uh, over this. So um, Delta can just go pound sand. <laughs> if, if they go under, I won't cry for them. Um, the employees, certainly, but the company, get won't go broke. Um, but quit treating, quit treating black people like pets and perpetual victims. Uh, we're not, and it doesn't serve any good purpose to do that. Uh, it certainly doesn't elevate the black community to do that, and it doesn't unify American society to do that. Uh, this has gone on a little bit long, uh, so I'll call it quits now. Um, I'll post my thoughts on uh, the Chauvin trial, um, again, based on my experience as Nearly four decades in law enforcement, including uh, including as a as a uh, you know, law enforcement supervisor. So um, again, you know, there's stuff that needs to be said about that. So everybody, take care. Have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Happy Easter, everyone.